Hi everyone, Sayla here from SM Strategies. Um, I wanted to do another video this week because it's been brought to my attention that a lot of people need tips for working from home. Um, I've been working from home for the last three years, going on four years, and so I've learned a few things um, and I wanted to put those into a video for you, so hopefully some of these tips will help. Um, I, first of all, just wanna let you know that I work alone at home so some of these tips might or might not work for you depending on your situation if you have kids at home um, a spouse is at home working with you you might have to find other tactics that work for you um, but maybe some of these tips will help with that um, okay so first of all my first tip is to set a routine this is very important when i first started working from home i kind of was very go with the flow you know wake up when i wake up get started when i get started it's really important now to stick to the same routine the same wake up time, the same bedtime routine. Um, and of course now with everything that's going on, it's important to find your peace, whether that's meditating, reading, going on a walk, a run, um, eating a really good breakfast, spending time making your meals, but make sure you build in a, an, a routine. Um, I tend to wake up early. I work best in the mornings and late at night. So I actually break out my days and do um, morning hours and afternoon slash evening hours depending on the day so that I can spend my afternoon riding my horse or working out or getting chores done or running to the grocery store whatever needs to be done but find a routine that works for you if you know you're most creative and you work best in the mornings then get up earlier if you work better at night then get 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 going at night um, and always make sure I always make sure I break for lunch and I try some days are harder than others i try really hard to make sure that i'm not eating my lunch at my desk i try really hard to eat in my kitchen at my table or my island um where you know i'm kind of at peace lately i've also been trying to turn off my phone that's something new that's developed during the pandemic or at least not check social media um that has helped me really just stay focused and not get wrapped up in the news also make sure you always set an end time. This is something I'm still working on. It's really hard, especially when there's always more that you can get done. And you know, there's always more you can be learning, always more you can put into your business, but really do try to stick to an end time, whether that's 5.30 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. if you're doing a broken up day, or um, if you wanna work early and you wanna be done by three, whatever it might be, just make sure you set an end time because otherwise your entire life will be work. Um, so that's another tip. Um, make sure you have a set space that you work in. I have an at-home office, of course, but I know a lot of people don't. So maybe just set a place where it's your workplace. Um, I also like to move around a little bit. So I actually have a couple of set up work places throughout my home and maybe that'd be a good option for you. I have an outdoor space just to table and chairs honestly it's all you need i have um a, a, a couch that's by like a window that i like to work at when i'm doing more like emails and that sort of thing um and then i have my kitchen table which i sometimes work at as well when i'm not working or when i'm not eating sorry so those are some things that i like to do too is i like to have different places to go because sometimes i get bored just sitting in the same place but make sure it is a dedicated workplace and make sure that area is cleared out and kept clean. I add that into my routine as well, where some days I will just like clean off the desk and make sure that it's really clean before sitting down for work. Um, another tip I have is to make sure that you try headphones. Um, I know if you have kids, that might be a different situation. But for me, even though I live and work alone, headphones really help my productivity. For some reason, ha having something in my ears just makes it so that I power through whatever I need to get done. Um, I schedule in my snacks because I will look at a computer and then realize that four to five hours have gone by and I haven't even moved. So I schedule snacks. I also schedule move time. So like I'll get up and move around. Um, you know, if you have a dog, you take the dog out. You can just go for a little walk around your house, um, whatever it might be. And then I also always wear pants. <laughs> this is another suggestion I have. Um, you know, when I first started freelancing, it's not, I'm not saying I wasn't wearing pants, but I didn't take like dress very seriously. I just wore whatever was laying around. Um, it's very important that you dress nicely or at least wear pants, even if they're comfy pants, because it just, it gives you a different mentality while you're working. Um, 
And then, and my next tip is to join online communities. Um, online communities are great and it's a good way to be social while we're all practicing not being social in person, we can still be social online. So that's Facebook groups, um, you know, start up your own Slack channel with all your friends, create Zoom calls with coworkers or friends or family. Um, just join online communities that keep you talking and keep you socializing. It's actually really easy to be social while working from home and practicing what we're all practicing. Again, this is a lifestyle I've kind of developed over the last three years, so I know how isolating it can feel, but there are ways to make it feel not isolating. Um, and then my last one is to join challenges. There are a lot of challenges that take place online or start your own challenge. Um, and what's great about them is they hold you accountable. So you can join like an accountability challenge where you set something that you wanna do every day. Maybe that's read, maybe that's move around, maybe that's something in your business you want to accomplish. Um, and then just spend a certain amount of time every day doing that challenge. Um, I've also seen ones for like, setting your alarm to do a certain amount of push-ups every hour. Um, I've seen ones set an alarm to drink a certain amount of water every hour. Just join a little challenge that's something that can keep you in a rhythm, but is also different. Um, these are all tips that I think will help you stay on track. Um, they certainly help me, and I've developed a really great routine for working from home. So if you need more tips, please feel free to reach out. Um, I also have software and tools that help me like this one that I'm using right now, which is Zoom. So if you have anything that's hindering your productivity, please let me know and I probably know of a solution or can find one for you. Um, so again, my tips are set a routine, make sure you have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, make sure you always step away from your computer and schedule that time out. Um, be done when you're done with work, make sure you set an end time. Wear headphones, at least try wearing headphones, it really helps me. Um, schedule your snacks so you don't get too hangry. Move around whenever you can. Um, always wear pants because it just will help you work better. Um, join online communities or create your own and then also join challenges or create your own challenges to help you stay on track and add a little bit of flavor to your work day. I hope these work from home tips helped. If you have any more questions or if there's anything you're wondering, please throw them in the comments. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. And again, we're all gonna get through this and it's gonna be okay. And please let me know where I can support you.